Hey guys, in this tutorial, what I am going over today is WordPress blocks. I'm going to explain in the most simple way possible what they are and why they are so great and how the how they apply to modern websites, load speeds, meaning how fast your website loads, and some other really important facts on using them. First of all, if you're a business owner, I always highly recommend WordPress as a solution because it is what's called open source, which means the code is completely accessible. You can move the website from host to host at your choosing and the flexibility is nearly endless. For businesses that are very serious, small, medium, or large businesses that have a long future in mind, that do not want to be tied down by any constraints, flexibility, functionality, and looking at cost savings, WordPress is a great solution. Let's jump right into this on what are WordPress blocks. WordPress blocks are best to be thought of as a way to build and piece together your website. Let's get into some of the specifics. Let's jump right into the block list. Now this is a list of blocks that are provided by on wordpress.org. wordpress.org serves the purpose and the community of those that are using a custom installation of WordPress. Meaning you can go and build a WordPress website through wordpress.com, not wordpress.org. wordpress.org is very specific again to a customized installation where you're building from the ground up, whether you're a small, medium, or large size business. Blocks can be best thought of as pre-made components that you can use to build your website. And what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at a couple of these. There's paragraph. I think we all know what a paragraph is. You know, it's a blurb of text, very simple. We have a heading, which is the top of your document, you know, your title, for example. You have a list. These are bullet points or numbered lists, things like that etc etc then we have things like media blocks which are video images galleries of images we have design blocks like buttons groups of things columns now when you see something like this it says deprecated this means that it's no longer supported and it's going to exit soon it will no longer be used at some point same with text columns more, for example, it, let's say you have a blurb of text and you want to limit the characters to 50 and then a more link appears. You see this a lot on blog posts where there's a list of blog posts and then you have a link to click on more to read more, but the characters are cut off. Spacer, separator, page break. Okay, all these different things are various types of blocks. And as you can see, when you think about this, these are all components that are used to build a web page and a, and a website. We get down into theme blocks, which are specific to the theme of WordPress, which I'm going to cover in another tutorial. You can just simply think of a theme as all the bells and whistles that enhance your website. And some of the things that are part of that are site logo, site title, site tagline, query loop. For example, query loop would be, let's say you wanted to show all the blog posts related to car parts. Let's say you're an automotive person or you're a lawyer and you want to talk specifically about environmental issues or um, vandalism or something if you're a lawyer. So you could have a query pulling only posts that related to that topic and showing those on a specific web page. So this gives tremendous flexibility uh, and control of the way your information is displayed on the website. And then we have embed blocks, and these are used a lot, and these are really special because these are designed and built specifically for the major types of platforms out there that we use every single day to talk about or share information. For example, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, Flickr, Vimeo, Reddit. I'm naming the ones that you might be more familiar with. Some of these are not as, as common to most users. But the point is, and we have Instagram, Facebook, for example, Pinterest. So the point of using these is it allows you to put content on your website that pulls in directly from those, but it's not in a messy or an unclean way. It's, it's intended to pull in so it looks very nice and clean. So this allows you to build components into your website of, of other resources or your own resources from these other platforms seamlessly in a really 
beautiful way that keeps everything consistent and clean. There's just so many more and so much detail we can get in here. But the point is, is think of blocks as ways that WordPress has solved the thinking process, the programming process, and the block simply allows you to drag and drop and position pieces together. I'm gonna to show you some examples. First of all, I wanna show you that I have the default WordPress theme installed for 2024. This is the newest, latest theme that WordPress has created. I have not done anything to the website. This is just a clean, brand new install of WordPress. And if we go to pages, and we can go to add a new page. I'm gonna go ahead and put um, page name here. And then the very simply, the first thing you do is select a block and all you have to do is click here and then click here and then click. You, and now if you wanted any of these, these are very common ones that are used. For example, let's put a paragraph. And then if you hit enter, let's go now to a different block. Let's do a list. We can do that. And let's go ahead and add another block by hitting enter again. Let's put a quote in here. And as you can see, this is the essential components of building with blocks. Now, if you go to Browse All, as I was showing you before, there's a lot more of these available. You can see that you can begin to become very customized. Now, let's say you wanted to add a table with some information. Well, you could do three columns and two rows and create a table. And you could say date, name, location, and then you could add your uh, information in any one of these fields. So again, this allows you to enter and format data exactly how you want. Now, what's really special about blocks is most of them have features that allow you to customize them and add design to them. If you go over and click on any one of the blocks, for example, this quote block, and we're gonna go to background and we can click over here and I'm gonna change the background color and then I'm gonna make the text white. So you see, and then let's say we want the background of this a different color. You can very simply do that. There's other options available and sometimes you have to select them. For example, on the padding here, I had to select under dimensions which ones are available for me to edit. Otherwise I don't see them. So I click on dimensions and then I click on padding and margin and then I can adjust the padding and the margin. For example, if I wanna make space or not. And you can see that changes everything. And if I simply publish this, I can go and click on that and this is what the page looks like. See that? So you basically get a visual interpretation. Now, one thing that is really special about blocks is that they are the new, they are the new way in which you build WordPress web pages in a lightning fast load speed format, meaning that the new structure of WordPress is built around blocks. So they're designed specifically for load speed and flexibility. For example, we can go back to, and we can see that this is already mobile responsive by tablet, desktop, and mobile. You see that? So I can preview this while I'm editing the page by any of these selections because of the nature of the blocks. They give me a real-time view of what this actually is going to look like, which is really fantastic. Really speeds up everything. Let's do another example of a block, something a little different. Let's go and use one of the YouTube blocks. So I just select that, and then all I need to do is enter the URL. So I've, I have a URL, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, I'm gonna click enter or embed and this pulls the video straight in so all i have to do is hit update make sure it's saved now i want to see how this looks on mobile okay so that's what it looks like on mobile and as you can see i can even test and play the video i can also add a caption which explains to the user what the video is 
And now let's just say, for the sake of demonstration, that I'm not happy with the spacing of everything and it's very annoying. So without getting into custom code, I'm gonna type spacer, sorry, I spelled that. Spacer, I'm gonna click that and as you can see, now I have a spacer here. Now I'm gonna click duplicate because I wanna add several spacers to these components that I have on the page. So I'm gonna, right here where the little, these little dots are, you'll see a hand symbol. That's gonna allow me to drag this spacer exactly where I want it. And you'll see, remember I made a duplicate, duplicate of it. So I wanted to add some space. I'm gonna make another duplicate just by clicking on these four dots here, click duplicate. Again, I'm gonna pull here. I'm gonna click update. And again, we're gonna preview this page and see now I have nice space between everything. But you know what, I'm not happy where the video is. I want the video on top. So we do the same thing, we click on the block and we simply drag it up. Look at that, I can put this exactly where I want it. Let's say I want a little bit of an introduction and then I want my video there. That's gonna make a lot more sense. And let's say I want a little less space, I can simply just drag on this. Look at that, simply drag the spacer, okay? And we can see the height, so if we want them all the same, we know that that's 51 pixels high. It's 50 pixels high, let's see. We want this one to be 52. So we can get them exactly how we want them. Again, click Save. We're gonna refresh the page. Now I have my video where I want it, and I have my quote block, and then a table of information. So as you can see, this is a basic introduction to WordPress blocks, but you can begin to imagine the flexibility when we talk about all the potential blocks that are available. As I create these tutorials, I'm going to get into how we can get many more blocks and all kinds of other functionality and customization that you can do. And we could spend months and months just on the ones that are available. And the ones I'm showing you right here in this column, these are all available by default. Meaning I just installed WordPress, free version of WordPress on my personal server and all of these are available. Everything I'm showing you right here, there is no additional features, code, or anything else that's installed. And I'm gonna show you, there's just the two default plugins, nothing, and then the theme, 2024, and that's it. These are just the other themes that come pre-installed, but they're not in use. This is the one that's active right now. And again, the theme is just basically a preset design components. They give you some extra visual elements that, that make things look a certain way, okay? So that's all that is, like the fonts that are in use here and uh, the text size. A lot of these are just related to the theme itself. And if there was no theme at all, this might just look like a plain white page with text and it would be very boring. But the theme adds, think of the theme as the bells and whistles on a car that make it look shiny and pretty. A theme has become more that at the present with the introduction of WordPress blocks. All right, guys. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial and introduction into what WordPress blocks are. I provided some really helpful information and links below. And of course, if you have any questions or need help with your WordPress project, I am available at times for specific types of projects. Jason Widrow from widromedia.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.